and hello and welcome back to another Classic Round video. So yes, I farmed herbs for 10 hours straight on a PvP server in Classic WoW, while using a 60% mount. It was quite an experience, to be honest, and for me it was just something else to do, and by farming for several hours you get more precise data than if you just farmed for one hour, since during a 10 hour session there can be both bad and good hours in terms of how much competition there is on the farming area. I farmed mostly in the zones Feralas, Felwood, and Ashara, but I did visit Ungoro and Silithus as well. If you're only here to see the results, I'd advise you to check the description of the video or the comments for a timestamp, as that will come later in the video. So why did I do this? Well, mostly for you to smash that like button. But no, seriously, mostly to get some accurate results exactly which type of herbs I could get here, how many I could get of each, and how contested the farms are, and with a combination of these things I could find out how viable these farms are compared to other gold farms out there. One thing I enjoyed about farming professions like herbalism and mining is that you can just sit back and chill and watch a TV show, YouTube video or a stream on your second screen while farming herbalism or mining as long as you keep an eye on your minimap for yellow dots. It's a much more relaxed type of gold farming than farming mobs if you ask me, but that also depends on the mobs you're farming I guess. On my server, and my servers actually, Ashara and Felwood are two of the most contested zones for herbalism because of the massive amount of Dreamfoil and Mountain Silver Sage in those zones. In Felwood you also have Grum's Blood, which is worth quite a bit, and Plague Bloom as well. Point is, there's quite a few valuable herbs in these zones, and the farming route is also very very easy. If you want to see the routes I use, I have uploaded a video on that a couple of weeks ago, so if you're interested in herbalism farming routes, give that want to watch. Even though farming herbalism is very relaxing, it can be quite tough on PvP servers, because if an enemy sees you farming herbs, they might engage in combat and kill you to try to drive you away from the zone so they can have the zones to themselves. I did that myself quite a few times in Felwood, killing anyone I could see that were gathering herbs. I would also not recommend farming for 10 hours straight, unless that's something you really want to, because I did get quite tired of running around towards the end. In general, you should figure out which herbs sell well on your server and go out and farm those. Sadly, Dreamfoil and Mountain Silver Sage will be the most valuable herbs on my servers, which is why exactly Ashara and Felwood are such good zones. However, if you want to farm herbs a bit more cut off from the world, you can farm ghost mushrooms in Marauden, which I did cover in my secret gold farms in Classic WoW video, which I think is a very good herb farming method since ghost mushrooms are already quite expensive, reaching 1 gold each on my server and they will just keep going up in value as well. I might make another video on that farm later to see the average amount of ghost mushrooms I can get per hour over a longer period, but we'll have to wait and see. Before we go over the results themselves, I think it's important to mention that over this 10 hour period, I had a total of 30 minutes break to eat food and refill my water a couple of times, and it's also been influenced by some world PvP as I did get killed a total of 5 times, which is actually way less than I initially anticipated as I thought I would get spawn camped, especially in Ashara. Also I never had any of these zones to myself, and I ran a few laps without finding a single herb, so they were quite contested. I know for a fact that there were at least 5 other herbalists in Felwood when I was there, as I kept bumping into them and I kept killing them when I saw them pick up a herb. However, in Ashara I only saw 1 or 2, but I'm sure there were more. The results are also affected by the fact that I only have a 60% mount, and if I had the epic mount I would probably make roughly 40% more gold per hour. Just to make sure you guys know I didn't fake any of this, and to keep track of time myself, I have an in-game stopwatch in the top right corner which helps show me how long I have farmed for. This is something I use on most of my farms just so I can determine how much gold I get per hour from each specific type of farm. To activate the stopwatch you simply right click on the timestamp under your minimap and click show stopwatch. You can see we are about to hit 10 hours in this farm, and at this point there were just too many people in Ashara, and I barely found any herbs in the last 30 minutes. I did make this video on a Sunday, which might not have been the best day to do this, since it's usually the day when most people are able to play, and therefore there will usually be more people farming herbs. So it wasn't really the best day to make this video on, but it was the only day I was able to play 10 hours straight, so I kinda just had to. Right, I think it's about time we get into the results. 
So in these 10 hours we acquired 65 dream foils, 46 grums blood, 40 mountain silver sage, 81 golden sunsums, 59 plague blooms, 84 sun grass, 16 purple lotus, 27 arthas's tears, 19 gold thorn, 25 cadgir's whiskers, and 1 life root. With the current prices on my server that means we got 50 gold worth of dream foil, 46 gold worth of grum's blood, 17 gold of mountain silver sage, 4 gold of the golden sansams, 25 gold of plague bloom, 16 gold of sun grass, 1 gold worth of purple lotus, 3 gold of Arthas' tears, 5 gold of gold thorn, and 1 gold worth of Cadius's whisker and 1 life root, which is worth a silver so we're not gonna count that. All in all, that means we made 168 gold of herbs in 10 hours, which gave us the estimated gold per hour of 16.8 gold. Not the best if you ask me, but in this case I was just sitting here watching a Netflix show anyway, and farming herbs while doing so, so it took like little to no effort at all. So it's a very easy gold farm to do, and it takes almost no effort. Also, if you play on a lower populated server, or you can play in the middle of the night when nobody else is playing, this amount of gold will substantially increase. Also, if you don't play on a PvP server, you won't have to fight the enemy faction for herbs, which also saves you a lot of time, so there's that as well. Less graveyard runs, and in general, less stress. Remember that this was me farming a mix of Felwood, Ashara and Feralas, but mostly Felwood and Ashara. I could potentially have reached a higher amount of gold per hour and more herbs if I just picked one zone and stayed there, because flying from zone to zone takes a long time. I mostly did this to keep myself sane during the farming, so every other hour I switched zones, so I got the feeling of doing something new because I was in a new zone. I guess that's just my way of making farming fun. I do the same when grinding mobs as well, unless it's by far one superior farm out there. I also like testing different gold farms for a longer time to find out which ones are in fact the best, and exactly how much gold per hour you can get from each farm, so this was a fun little experiment. So now you know, if you can't beat roughly 17 gold per hour in any other gold farm due to bad luck on drops or due to not being a mage, or due to the gold farm being way too popular, Herbalism gives you 17 gold per hour, and maybe even more since these zones were highly contested when I was there. The herbs that will give you the most profit from these farms are Dreamfoil, and Grum's Blood, which is why Ashara and Felwood is so great. Ashara has a lot of Dream Foils, and Felwood has a good mix of Dream Foil and Grum's Blood. Both of these herbs go for almost one gold each on my server, and you can make a bunch of gold from these, and they will just continue to rise in price, especially now in Phase 2, since people need these for flasks and potions. You need 30 Dream Foil per flask craft, and Grum's Blood is used in various potions, like the Rage Potion for Warrior. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer for 10 hours for your enjoyment, and hopefully my 10 hours of farming provided provoked, provided you with some information that helped you in some way. I am planning on doing more of these in the future, so make sure you let me know which farm you want me to test out next. Is there some specific mob farming spot you want me to test out for 10 hours? Or do you want me to test out mining for 10 hours? ghost mushroom farming in Moradon, let me know in the comments and I'll keep that in mind when I record the next one. If you want to interact with me outside of YouTube, feel free to join my Discord channel which is linked in the description, as I'm trying to turn that into a gold making community where we can help each other make as much gold as possible, both in Classic and in BFA. I am planning on making retail content as well, either in 8.3 or in the next expansion, basically whenever I've covered most of what I can in Classic, and when I feel it's time to go back and farm gold for those WoW tokens. So let me know in the comments or over on Discord if you're interested in BFA content or the next expansion content as well. I do stream a bit on Twitch, where I stream both World of Warcraft and Arcage, so make sure you follow me over there as well. All of my social media links are in the description. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you didn't like the video please take the time to slap a like on it and feel free to check out some of my other classic videos as well. If you want to see more videos make sure to subscribe to my channel, and with that being said I thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.